hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl maureen glow and i hope you all are doing really good and okay all right you guys like you all know yes from the caption below it's all about the big brother reunion show episode five yes you guys um but before i get started i'd like to you know quickly put it out there that i did not watch the show from the beginning i think i was you know a few minutes late okay but then we're going to talk about it regardless right oh yes i'm going to just you know start from where i started watching but i wasn't really too late to the show though in all honesty so don't worry you're not going to miss much okay anyway without further ado let's get started already all right you guys we saw a buka you know asking mercy or i saw a buka rather asking mercy what is it about ella that she didn't you know trust that made her you know put her up mercy said um she put uh you know ella up for eviction because ella wanted her as a girl and also wanted ek as her man and that to her it seems ella was you know wanting to eat a cake and still have it and that was the reason she obviously put ella up then they showed us um ek and ella having this um chit chat about you know something like relationship sha mm, sha ella was you know telling ek that she likes him and what's not yes and then they go back to the place where they showed ella i think no ebuka asked um ella what she you know what she had to say then ella said um yes of a true she fancied ek but she also loved mercy because um when she got into the house um newly yeah, the first person she got connected to was Mercy. Yes, she actually said Mercy and um, Kathy were the first people she got connected to. Yeah. So, as soon as she, you know, noticed Ike and Mercy were, you know, getting serious, she had to step down. But Mercy was like, it's a lie that Ella was just, you know, sneaky. Yeah, she actually said that, you guys. She did. And Ella, on the other hand, was like, Mercy, what do you mean by I was, you know, sneaky? But with an accent, you guys, yes, with an accent. But Ella, what was that accent for? Like, I don't get it. But anyway, Ebuka asked um, Ike what he thinks about the matter. Ike answered, though, hey, you guys, you will not believe, you will not believe what Ike said. He said that he's used to it. I'm like, wait, you are used to what? Meaning is used to girls you know having a fallout because of him hmm ike 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 the man ike the odogu you guys you needed to see how ike was blushing <laughs> anyway oh you guys that's just me thinking not like i know what he meant okay so let's generally continue with the gist okay and yes um to cut the whole story short sha um ike just agreed that he led ella on and that it was a strategy for him that was why he kept telling ella to like be patient as a dog i'm like okay you guys after that um they showed ebuka asking jackie who she thinks was the biggest um pretender in the house then jackie answered and said it was kathy that um when she left the house she saw video clips and that people told her she was tagging gossip with kathy and that that was so because um she told kathy that there was like a body enhancement with mercy but you guys the funniest part of this whole thing that um jackie was talking about was how she quickly changed her mouth to there is nothing wrong with it oh, that she might also get her boobs done i'm like girl hone it like own it up to your chest you don't gossip you don't gossip everybody they gossip why you can't they change mouth but anyway you guys hmm, to my surprise oh, kim was like see jackie that from our own point of view it's not like she's trying to say Jackie does it every day because she has not, you know, really seen her do it, okay? But um, it did, you know, come across to her like Jackie is a gossip. And that if it wasn't gossip to Jackie, she was enabling. And Jackie was like, enabling how? Kim, hey girl, that girl. She was like, because you got into the conversation and that to me was like your safe place jackie 
and Jackie at this time was not or could not, uh, you know, defend herself as Kim was just, you know, giving it to her like that. <laughs> anyway, you guys, hmm, before we know what was going on, no, the camera was on Venita, okay? And that's because Ebuka asked Venita who she thinks um, was, you know, disloyal. Hmm. Venita said, though, it was Ella. And she said so because, yes, according to her, that um, Ella put up a public stunt and made the rest of the housemates look bad. And you guys, she made reference to, you know, when Ella's mom was sick, okay? And she said, hmm, wait, oh, hmm. She said, though, you guys, that Ella did not speak about her mom being sick to the rest of the group because they had this, you know, WhatsApp group. I don't know if they still have it. Okay, but then they had um, a WhatsApp group that Ella did not speak about her mother being sick and that she just went public without even, you know, telling them. And that, of course, was a surprise to them, like all of them that was on the group. Then after Ella, you know, had collected the money she made from the public okay and she then went on to like you know post a picture of herself fully made up and uploaded a video of her live band on the beach you guys and that even kim asked her so many times about which hospital her mom was in so they can all you know go and visit her mom but ella never responded like she switched off on them in other words, Ella was being deceitful. Okay? Now, Ella, in her defense, said her mom was really sick and that she also had the operation that she didn't lie or use the money she collected from the public to do other things, like her personal things, that um, all the money she collected from the public went into her mom's illness or operation. I don't know, you guys. But then, Diane was like, Ella, see... All we wanted was to support you, but you switched off on us. And Ella answering Diane was like, I switched off because I needed to attend to my mom. <laughs> you guys, hmm, Sadi, Sadi also said he felt bad when um, Ella didn't, you know, ask them first before she went to the public. And later the whole thing got, you know, fishy. Ella was like, fishy how? And Sadi said, fishy when you switched off on us. You guys, hmm, you will not believe it all. Ella, defending herself again, said, yes, she switched off because her mother never wanted anybody to see her like that, like being sick, you guys. And that was the reason she switched off. And before, <laughs> you guys, before you know what was happening, Ella started crying. She was crying, you know. And she cried and left the place like she just, um, you know, went down the hallway, cried a little while, then came back. But before she came back, you guys, um, what was that his name again? Joe. Joe was already, um, you know, talking about how disappointed he was in Ella for, you know, switching off on them. For also not, you know, responding to Kim because he saw the... The message of Kim asking um, Ella which hospital her mom was in um, on the chat. Yeah, he was basically talking about that when Ella came in. Then Ebuka was like, Ella, see, if every um, body is saying the same thing, that's to say they felt somewhat about what happened. Okay, so yeah, for some reason Ebuka ended the episode. Mm -hmm. Were you expecting more? Yes, that was how the episode ended. Okay, so I'm sure tomorrow we're gonna see how you know it went from there. Okay, least I forget to oh, you guys. Well, thank God I didn't forget because this particular questions from Mercy, yes, got me pissed. Mm -hmm. And the questions was to you know Ella. Mercy was like Ella. What do you do with your resources? And Ella answered and said, To take care of my mom. Mercy did not end there. She went on to be like, Do you do drugs? Ella was like, No. And for some reasons, the questions got me pissed because Ella is not a child, and as such, Mercy does not have any right whatsoever to ask Ella such questions, especially on a national TV. That was so, so wrong in all level, at least to me, yes? And embarrassing at the same time. 
anyway maybe i'm just taking it too personal and yeah with all of the gist being said <laughs> yes i'd like to say i enjoyed it and i hope you will enjoy this gist as well okay and yes subscribe to my channel if you are yet to do so like this video give it a thumbs up okay if you actually really do comment and share and i ah, yours truly will see you on my next one but until then my darlings be good stay safe and bye bye Mwah.